Okay, so in this tutorial I'm showing you how to do some falling text, some text animation, and also some popping text as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, I do have a motion background that I'm going to use for this. Um, it's on my desktop, so I haven't started a composition at all, I've just started completely blank in After Effects. And if I double click in here, I'm going to open up the, um, uh, the public domain little uh, motion background that I've got and then I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose new comp from selection and if I do that I've got a new compilation uh, it's called waking up I'm going to change that but the compilation is exactly the same settings as the video so I won't have any problem when it comes to um, publishing at the end so I'm just going to right click that comp and in composition settings I'm just going to call this um, BWPS logo because that's what I'm making. Okay, um, and I'm actually going to hide it for now because I'm going to be doing some other things and I don't want them in the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, a word. So I'm going to go to the text tool here. Um, I've chosen Arial Black and I've got a white fill here with a dark or navy blue stroke. Um, I'm going to change this to 150 pixels. Everything else looks good to me. So I'm going to type in the first word of my school which is Bentley and I'm going to position it where I want it to end up and I want it to end up about I think here centered there that looks good uh, making sure that your paragraph is centered that's important okay that looks good to me now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, flip the little toggle here and I want to click on animate and then position and the position the Y value here I'm going to scrub so it comes just off the screen in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the stage here and just zoom out a little bit using my scroll key on my mouse just so I can see that it is off like the, like I wanted to so let's keep going scrubbing off the, w, the Y axis so it's just off that's what I want great and I'm going to bring that back up. Um, now I'm going to keyframe that. So that's the position it's at. And so the next thing I'm going to do is jump into this range selection selector here. And at the zero point, so I'm at zero, I'm going to change this to minus 100%. And make sure that is keyframed. So that's put it exactly where I wanted it to go. And then at one minute. I'm going to put it at a hundred percent. There. Clicking on the advanced, I want to make sure that my shape is ramp up and my ease high is 10 and my ease low is 10. That just eases it through so it's not so sharp. And then when I flip it through, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, now I can randomize it I click on here the randomizer on now I do it they go in different orders and that looks great okay so that's pretty much it for that one so I'm gonna close that down and I'm gonna close that down completely so that's the first word Bentley and that finishes at one second so now I'm gonna take it to about halfway which is 115 over here so I've got a 30 frames per second here so that's 115 here and I'm going to create a new text and I'm going to call this West because my school is called Bentley West and I'm going to want to make this a lot bigger say like that and position it mm, it's a little bit too big Let's bring it down a bit put it exactly where I want it that looks fantastic now I'm going to bring the um, the slider over here down to the 115 mark so it doesn't actually exist until this 115 mark okay great so that's exactly where I want it and now I'm going to do exactly what I just did before so toggle this go to animate position um, I'm going to just zoom out a bit so I can see and the position I'm going to bring till it's right off stage, I'm not changing the X, just the Y, 
There we go. Beautiful. Keyframe that. Looks lovely. Zoom back in. And then I'm going to go to Range Selector. Minus 100 for the offset. Keyframe that. Go to uh, one second after that. So that's 215 now. 100% the offset now. Making sure in the advanced that I have ease on, uh, sorry, shape on ramp up. Ease on 50. Ease high on 50. Ease low on 50. And randomizer on. So let's see it. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I'm go that finishes the effect at 215. I'm just going to put everything back. There we go. There's my Bentley West. Now, what I want to have here, we have school values at our school that are positivity, responsibility, care, respect, and persistence. And I want them to pop up, bang, 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 one after the other. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off that. I'm going to get to the point I want, which is 2.15 is where it's finishing. So, I'm going to start it at 3, just so we can hang on the Bentley West just for a half a second. And I'm going to do some new text. Put it in. I'm going to write the first word, which is respect. Now, that's obviously too big. I'm going to change respect here to 100 pixels. and making sure it's centered, which is what I want. And I'm just going to move it to where I want it here. That's great. And I'm going to bring this into the three second mark here. Good. OK, so that says respect. That's fine. Now, if I click on here, and then I click on the text. You can see there's a section here called Source Text. I'm going to click on the keyframe just as it uh, exists here, as it starts at three seconds. And then I'm going to jump to four seconds. And I'm going to go in here with my text tool and I'm going to change the word to Positivity. When I press Enter, you notice there's a new keyframe here, which means it's actually changed the word. It's asking me to refresh, which I'll just do that now, probably because I had my cap lock on. Okay, good, and then I'm going to jump another second. This time I'm going to change the word to care. Another second. This time, persistence. So what have we got so far? Let's have a look at how it works. And the last one, responsibility. We want this at six seconds. So let's make sure it's at six seconds. No, sorry, seven seconds. Change that. Obviously, with your own project, you change the timings that suits you. Responsibility. There we go done. And then I want to leave it for another second, and then I want that off. That's what I want to do. I want that off now. So I'm going to drag this part of it so it comes off like that. Then I'm going to give Bentley West another second, so to nine seconds. And then, you know what, I might just change the composition settings to finish there. So I'm just going to change that 12 seconds, which was what the background video was at, and make it 9 seconds, and bring everything together. OK, so starting at the beginning, I have something that looks like this. Perfect. It's just looping there. OK, so this time I'm going to add my video. Sorry. I'm going to click on the eye here to add my video. Now see what it looks like.
Now just looking at it here, I have to say I'm not entirely happy with how quickly the I think it should be faster between the the pop-up words. So instead of one second per word, I'm going to change it to half a second. So I'm going to move this one, click on it, and drag it to here. I'm going to move this one, drag it to here. I'm going to move this one, drag it to here. And where's the other one? Here. Drag it to here. And this one, drag it to here. Now I think that's going to make it a lot better. Bang, 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 bang. Good. Excellent. So now that I've done that, I need to just trim the end again because it finishes here, as you can see, at 5, 15 frames, so 5.5 seconds. So we want that to exist for another 15 seconds and then be gone. So let's just get to the end of my compilation. There we go. Be gone there. Leave it for another second at 7 seconds and I'm going to change this now. Composition settings, everybody finish at 7 seconds. There we go. Alright, so back at the beginning, previewing. Perfect. And that's how I did it.